Clear for takeoff from my right, Charlie Echo Zulu. Seven hundred green, green, green. Got the airspeed indicating seventy knots rotate. Right, gear are up, laps are up, power full, fuel pump on, engine temperatures and pressures look okay. Thank you, Tower, no, uh, Warrior, Charlie, Whiskey, Whiskey, and holding point Alpha A, turn on the right, request for a uh, uh, upwing departure. Charlie, Whiskey, Whiskey, runway right, clear for takeoff. Runway right, clear for takeoff, Charlie, Whiskey, Whiskey. Center left, nine one, good. Set up a climb. Right here, good. Transponder VFR, not above 2,500 feet. So we have the true airspeed hitting there. There's the M7.
three, four, and point eight no, point eight gallons per hour. Don't die. All right, there's the pipeline. I'm just gonna fly on the pipeline. All right. Pretty far right of the track, I think. All right, we're on Sydney Center. Huh. Right, I used the wrong heading. I used the heading for the next leg, that's the problem. All right, let's get to War Gamba Dam. That was dumb. There's a tadpole lake, we can climb to 4,500 when we pass that. St. Mary's up there, good. Legal to fly through here. Okay, what's next? Uh, we're going to want to listen to the AWIS. not until after we switch onto that frequency. And who are we going to want to talk to next? We're going to want to talk to 119.0 after that for the orange CTAF. zero. good. So we departed o 05. So, 0535. 0535. Actual time of departure from Bankstown was 05. I know how to find War Gamba Dam. All right, do we need some rudder trim? Oh, but we do need some elevator trim. Okay, we can actually climb from here, so let's do that. There's War Gamba Dam up ahead. So, trim that properly, come on. Where are we? We're going out this way to War Gamba Dam. 4,500 until we get to the dam, then we can climb again. Quebec Golf, you're now leaving controlled airspace. Identification and control service terminated. Squawk 1200, frequency change approved.
4,500. Let's get the airspeed properly this time. Dam there. Looks nice. Next is going to be 291, as I said. I'll set the course now for runway 35 in Bathurst. Went the long way around. All right. Good. That true air speed up. Come on. There we go. Okay. Now, two, three. Four. Ten point eight gallons per hour. Up there. All right. That's my altitude. I'm coming down a little bit. There. All stations on India Hotel, Quebec Caravan, three minutes parachute, drop 7,000 overhead to deal with four canopies, all stations are awesome. Okay. Here's the dam. Oh, it looks beautiful. Feeling at the moment. All right, time at the dam is 1-6. I am going to... Turn. Not climb yet. One turn right. Left center right. Two nine zero. Two nine one. All right. There's two nine one. Look that divot in the valley up there. Okay, actually the airspace on the way out there. From Warwick Amber Dam. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so I can go to 7,500 about now. All right, set up a climb to 7,500, get back on heading. Full mixture, full increase prop. Power, 7,500. Go on the area Q&H now. All right, that's compass. In balance, are we climbing? Not really. Long, I put down the time, it was 1.6. Engine, I'm climbing right now, so I'll leave that alone. Altitude, I'm going to 7,500 for now. Actually, I guess it should be 6,500 since I'm going west. Until I can get above that. Radio, is it the one-third point? Orientation, I got, uh... All right, let's see. Should have the big lake to my left. Civilization back into my right. Good. Future times. Well, we got a 10 minute segment, so that's plus uh, one minute for this climb. So that is 2737. Seven. And there'll be another minute for climbing later, so that should be 48. Fuel is not time yet, that's at 3.5. Okay, chill out for now, but so we're done climbing. Come on, get on that heading. All right.
Okay. 1,500. No more climbing, stay at 6,500. Okay, Senegate ID, Hedgehog, Quebec, passing 6,900, new person, flight level 140. Okay, Senegate ID, Hedgehog, Quebec, passing 6,900. India Hotel, Quebec, contact in the box on 128, day, small 3. 128, day, small 3 in the box, India Hotel, Quebec. 10.8. Okay. Stay here on heading. On heading, please. Stop climbing. Just chill out for a minute so I can look at the map, please. I retrim for that new power setting, eh? Okay, now. This is a problem. Now, come over, we should go over the high ground, we should have Katoomba to our right, we're a little bit left. In fact, our pinpoint is at the edge of Katoomba at time 2-7, that'll be easy, great. Time. Stay on track, no big deal. Get us down to 6,500. Hey there. No, don't climb. Alright, here's Katoomba. We're not too far off. Don't climb. Now, when can we climb again? Past Katoomba, we can climb to 8,500. So that should actually be 3.8, but time. All right. Okay, I'm heading. All right. The edge of Katoomba is where we're supposed to pinpoint. We're at pretty much right on track. Yep. Keep turning right. A few degrees. That's looking pretty good. Don't climb yet. So I'm going to pinpoint us at the edge of Katoomba. They were 
one mile off and 20 is uh, 6 and 60. I don't think we're actually that far off. Oh, and 5 degrees still left. Actually, nothing because I've been going right of heading anyway. Okay, we're here. It is 2-5. Oh, we're actually early by two minutes. Wow. All right, so that should be four minutes earlier there. Three, six. That should become six minutes earlier here. Four, two, that doesn't seem right, but we'll see how it goes. All right. Now, we can climb again to 8,500. Let's do that. Here, prop, power. 8,500. Okay, compass, got our heading, log, already done, engine, we're climbing, altitude to 8,500, orientation, now radio, it's time to switch. We want to listen to the AWIS after that, 13325. Good. That's radio, orientation. Zumba behind us. Uh, Lithgow over to the right, Blackheath over to the right, rivers to our left. Blackheath. Rivers looks about right. Future times I've done. Fuel, it's not time for yet. And our next ETA was 3 6. How did I wind up with the wrong frequency in there? 133 decimal, t no, 127 decimal 35 is the next one. I know how I did. There we go. All right. Back on heading. Are heading. True airspeed. All right, we got the speed. Two, three. Uh, it's already below that. Two, four. Nope, that's not right. Two, four. Ten point eight gallons per hour. Temperature 
pressures and pressures look good. Let's not descend. Climb either. All right. 8,500 feet. Now, what's next? I'm 3-6. We expect to be over high ground with Lithgow back into our right. Keep an eye out for Lithgow. That might be Lithgow in there. Major road to the lake to the left. There's the lake. Probably. Oh, uh, with the lake beyond it and another lake over there. on this end of that lake is that one so road going by the lake through the valley meeting up with the river is a road run by the lake that's the valley up here aim at one one gap areas new south wales western east and queensland thunderstorms observed aim at one one brisbane The other lake beyond it. All right. I track again. I heading again. And down four miles west of that, left of that lake. The bottom end of that lake. Which uh, Melbourne Centre, good morning, Bravo. Uh, sorry, the Park Hilo Juliet uh, Night Bar Cheyenne with uh, 5 POB. Uh, taxi is Gripper from way 24 Walker. The Park Hilo Juliet Centre, score 4207, no reported on our traffic. 4207, the Park Hilo Juliet. Alright, well then, I don't really see this high ground they're talking about, but I'm going to close the track here. Supposed to be 288. Good. Cheat and do that. Going over this high ground here. Where's the valley? I guess it's this. Ah, yes. I see. That on the close side, followed by another high. That's this part. So, high ground should be under here. It's this. 
I'll get right over where I'm supposed to be. And we say I was four miles, 20 is 12 and 60. Gotta double that for 24. I think that's too much. At 280. All right, I'm over my spot at about 35. I'm going to set my heading for 280 and I'm going to turn to that. Turn left. Okay, that's compass. Log I've done. I'm just going to keep that ETA of 42. Engine. Three, two, four, ten point eight. Temperatures and pressures look okay. Uh, radio, not time to change yet. Um, orientation. Put that lake to my right. I got the lake to my right, which is what I want. Uh, future times I've done, and fuel it is trying to change. So I'm going to turn on the fuel pump. Plus the fuel flow while I switch to right. Looks good. Turn off the fuel pump. Still looks good. Everything looks good. 1.8 on the right tank. Way through 60. 48. It's 88 on the right. And zero on the left, call that 110, 198 minus 20 is 178. After 30 minutes, 178 is above as expected, oops, turning right again. That's fuel, all right. Now I gotta start thinking about my radios. My ETA to Bathurst is 42 and I'm 10 miles out now, and that can't be right. Well, it's more fun. Anyway, time to listen to the AOS. Temperature, 1, 2. Cloud overcast, 6,500 feet. Visibility, 10 kilometers. Dew point, Looks like 1, 2. Humidity, 9, 9 percent. Rainfall, last 10 minutes, nil. Bathurst, AWS aerodrome weather. Wind, calm. QNH 1021 hectopascals. Temperature, 1, 2. Cloud overcast, 6,500 feet. Visibility, 10 kilometers. Dew point, 1, 2. Humidity, 9, 9%. Rainfall, last 10 minutes, nil. All right, I'm going to start my descent. Let's see. I need to lose 4,000 feet, 500 feet per minute. That's eight minutes, so I really better start. Yep. My ETA is 4-5, I need to do a call at 4-0. I'm going to say Bathurst traffic, Piper Aero Charlie Echo Zulu is 10 miles to the southeast. Inbound for circuits, sending through 8,000 feet, yay, 4-5. Now, what do I expect it to look like? I expect to have Big Town, that's Bathurst, it's uh, front and to the right. I'm going to stay on the east side of the runway. The runway is going to be like this. That's got to be Bathurst over there. What else? There's a big road coming in. Chifley Dam back into the left. There's Chifley Dam. There's Bathurst. All right. I'm going to make the call now, actually.
127.35. Next one I'm going to want to listen to is 128.35. Bathurst traffic, Piper Arrow Charlie Echo Zulu is 10 miles to the southeast, descending through 7,500 feet, inbound for circuits, ETA 45, Bathurst. All right, now where's the. Uh, Melvin's gonna go to Park Hill, Juliet with departure. Park Hill, Bathurst, it should be. Yeah, right edge of town. And I'm gonna. Overfly on the live side, and then descend and join upwind for a circuit, and I'm going to depart downwind. Cross one runway. That's probably the cross runway there. I want to stay on that side. Circuit height is 3,400. And when I leave, I'm going to want, about this, the orange, 263, but I'm probably going to just follow that highway. All right, there's the aerodrome. Runway 35. Stay away from the glider strip to the west. All right, so let's turn. Not descend early enough. All right, there's the aerodrome. 4,400 overflight. That's about here. Coming from 3-5. 
three five will be right. So let's just descend now. Bathurst traffic, Piper Arrow Charlie up Zulu is joining a right circuit for runway 35, upwind. Bathurst. Bathurst Aerodrome Cita. Pressure, undercarriage is out, mixture is rich, fuel pump on, fuel selection still on right, pressure and contents, warning lights, canopy, harness. All right, align yourself better. Span in one stage of flap, white, good nose up for now. Bathurst traffic, Piper Air Charlie Akazulu is turning base for runway two th uh, three five, touch and go, Bathurst. Prop pull fine, three greens, flap.
right. Flaps are up, power full, fuel pump on. Temperatures and pressures look okay. 3,000 feet, we'll turn. 2,900, we'll turn. Too much. All right. We're up. Feel the bomb. Bathurst traffic, Piper Air Charlie Echo Zulu is departing downwind, runway 35 on climb to 4500, tracking orange. Bathurst. Okay. So, I'm going to swing around the south side of Bathurst, follow the highway to orange. Should be a highway going out to orange. Approximately the right two six two six three. Three and Orange's runway is going to be two nine zero probably. All right, not going to go to two six three until we get altitude. Find the highway. Stay on the south side of the highway. Five thousand one hundred. Should be thirteen minutes to Orange. So, what time do we leave Bathurst? Uh, five three. Zero six. A was soon. Here's Bathurst. Where's the highway to Orange? Crosses some power lines. About Blaney. Not going to Blaney, but we are going to Orange. Our true airspeed, let's get this set up. All right, here's Bathurst. 263 is this way. The highway should be just a little bit left of that. So it's probably this one under me.
Not 100% sure. Let's see. Goes to the right of some high hills over there. Off in the distance is a mountain. Mount Canoblis, orange is to the right of that. But it swings around from the left. So this is probably the highway here. Now, I want to be listening to orange. Next one I want to talk on is probably Bankstown. Uh, and their AWIS is 128.08, which if I want to be there at 06, I should listen now. Do not hear anything. There's the highway. Where does it go? Around that way. Decimal 9 is her CTAF. Don't get lost. Aviate, navigate, communicate. Yeah, there's a power line going off that way. That's the right highway. Okay. Top. Did I get it wrong? No. Trust yourself. 119 decimal zero. 119 decimal zero. This is highway. Doesn't turn until after that power line. This is the wrong highway. point that the power line crosses, it should be pointing a little bit left of Mount Canoblis, but it's pointing a lot left. So, if I'm way down here, I want to steer for Mount Canoblis. That'll be fine. Traffic uh, helicopter zero kilo uniform taxis uh, taxi way delta to uh, runway uh, one one traffic orange runway orange one. aerodrome. That's Blaney over there. To the right, there should be hills. Farms and stuff to the left of Blaney. Yeah, that's Blaney. Oops, wrong highway. All right, well, where's the right highway then? Should be a, ta a road coming out of Blaney that goes right up to that highway. But I will steer for Orange. But it's runway 11. 
And from Blaney, it should be right over there, in front of Mount Canoblis. I'll descend to 5,100. How far from Blaney is it? Ten miles. All right, I'm about ten miles now. Down for the southeast for circuits. And it's traffic. Uh, helicopter Sierra Killer uniform uh, rolling parallel runway one one grass right for the badge to the east. Traffic orange. Orange traffic, Piper Arrow Charlie Echo Zulu is heading one zero miles to the southeast at 5,500 feet, uh, inbound for circuits, ETA 06, Orange. Orange traffic, uh, helicopter Sierra Killer uniforms departing to the east, not about 4,000, traffic orange. the highway I think so Mount Canoblis between the highway and Mount Canoblis over here and we expect runway 29 pointing that way with a cross runway pointing at the highway Orange itself is over there. There's a high point on Mount Canoblis with a transmitter. Or that. All right. Keep an eye out. Lakes here. Circuit 4100. And then when we're leaving, 29 will want to depart upwind and then go Oberon at 102. That's probably Millthorpe there with Spring Hill beyond it. And if Spring Hill is there, there's a Millthorpe has a tower to its west, to its left. Spring Hill. Oh, there's the aerodrome. I'm bang on runway 29 right now. I decided I wanted to join midfield crosswind, so I'll overfly and check the windsock. Here's 2-9, there's a circuit, midfield crosswind, yep. All right, here's the aerodrome. Still don't hear the AWIS. 
Chris is dead. Leave it alone. What do we want to listen to after 135? Circuit if it's two All right, there's a windsock. Yep. And what does the windsock say? The windsock says, up headwind from the right on runway 29. From the left, sorry. Crosswind from the left, 2-9 will work. Right. And disagree, so good. And Four thousand one hundred. All right, four thousand one hundred, not too fast. Orange traffic, Piper Arrow Charlie Echo Zulu is joining midfield crosswind for runway 29. Orange. Orange Aerotrap. Right, we're a little bit high. You're out now. Slow us down. Turn on the downwind. Brakes have pressure, undercarriage is fixed. Sorry, undercarriage is down. Mixture is rich. Fuel pump on, fuel selection still on right, we need to change that. Pressure and contents, warning lights, canopy, harness, altitude. Flap. Orange traffic, Piper Arrow Charlie Akazulu is turning base for runway 29, touch and go, orange. Hundred. 
more flap. A little bit high. Pitch, undercarriage, flap. Lamps are up, power full, fuel pump on, temperatures and pressures are green. Turn for that hill, 4,100 feet. Brakes up pressure, undercarriage is down, mixture is rich, fuel pump is on, pressure and contents. Uh, no warning lights, canopy, harness, aerodrome. Too close. Fuel flow. No, I'll do it after after we depart. Orange traffic, Piper Air Charlie Echo Zulu is turning base for a touch and go on runway 29 right, followed by a crosswind departure. Orange. <laughs> runway 29.
Flaps are up, power full, fuel pump on, temperatures and pressures look all right. Set up a climb, 3,600, I'll turn crosswind. What time is it? 18. Orange traffic, Piper Air Charlie at Kazulu is departing crosswind from runway 29er, uh, 3,800 feet on climb to 5,100 feet, tracking Oberon, Orange. Oh shit. That's not right. What are you doing? Traffic Orange, Charlie Gold Rescue 201, taxiing for an upwind departure, runway 29, heading for Cobra, Orange. the flow rate still looks good one zero two should have been a downwind departure stupid all right all right what time are we actually leaving orange now Zero. Two miles to the right. All right. One zero two. Four thousand three hundred. That's compass. Fog. I've done. Engine. Are we up to speed yet? Not yet. Now we are. Three, four. Oh, I did not do my puff. Traffic check. orange rescue two zero one lining up rolling on my two nine upwind departure for Cobra orange. Two three two four ten point eight altitude. Just stay here for now. Radio. We're supposed to be listening on. Frequency 135.25, got it. Orientation, that's important. Orientation, so we want the town of Orange back into the left. Uh, we want Blaney to the right, Bathurst to the left. And the high ground in front of us. High ground, Blaney. Um, okay, future time and fuel. Fuel, I switched it to zero. Very late. Right now, it is just above, call it 11. segment. So, where the hell are we? Two, six, three, two, and in total, 17 minutes, 37. Oberon. All right. There's Bellini. Send a little bit further. Where are we going? We just passed Bellini. There is a major highway coming out of town. 
there. Uh, how are we going in the Bathurst? One zero two. Traffic orange, Jabu 7012 is 10 miles to the southeast at 5100 northbound for Narromine, intending to fly approximately one mile to the west of the field. Traffic orange. God damn it. Maybe that's blaming. Supposed to be there at 2-6. This ridge, there are hills. Keep your heading, don't climb. Parallel to Blaney, crossing a road. No, I don't have any visual there, uh, sort of. All the way to Oberon. Alright, I'm going to be Blaney now. I would say four miles. Four. So there should be a road that I'm going to cross in this way. I guess that's this one. Followed by a river. That's pretty much parallel to it, or joining into it, followed by railway tracks. Assume railway tracks past Bathurst. Watch out for those railway tracks. 